Hey, YouTube people. So, uh, <clears throat> as we go down this fitness journey here, I've been checking out other people's channels, and this guy, Dewey Marco, um, I'm not sure if he's Ukrainian or Czechoslovakian or, but you know, on the daily, you know, keep it real, baby, please, right? So, uh, just be looking at different uh, channels because he was going through this thing of uh, natty or not, you know, and I found that an interesting topic. Me myself, I really don't care. Because at the end of the day, the person's got to do what they got to do to achieve their physique results. And I'm going to share with you my belief. And oh, gee, so back, right? I'm a fighter and a warrior. Yeah, I do bodybuilding. But it's kind of like cross training. I do bodybuilding to um, help to heal the injuries I get during martial arts, right? So when you're doing martial arts training, Getting a lot of kicks and punches and falls, it's, it's, it's like trauma to the muscle. And so bodybuilding is a good form of internal massage. You go, you go to the gym and you, you do some pull-ups or, you know, dips or push-ups, you know. You can add weight to that with a weight belt. But it helps to uh, flush out the injured blood from the muscle and it, it helps your recovery. You know, it also helps you to look good because if you just do purely uh, martial arts, um, you don't have a look that people can relate to as far as like a nice physique. So I look at bodybuilding like the icing to the cake. So I look at Louis Marco's channel because he's talking about natty or not, you know, and the guy has, um, you know, he has a, he's a, he has an okay physique, you know, he's got a six pack from when I can see he's ripped. Not sure if he looks like that all the time. I don't really know. I could just know like the image picture you have on your channel shows him as ripped, right? So, uh, this guy's more like a, he's more like a sports commentator. You know, he comments on different athletes, whether it's the Mr. Olympia top 10 that's coming up. On their exercise form, you know, what is he saying? They're getting a super chicken or whatever he calls it from the Middle East. And uh, it's very entertaining, you know, but he doesn't really give out a lot of, like, uh, in my opinion, like good solid training advice. Um, whereas on my channel, I give people realistic attainable training advice or it's basically like this hard work you know I don't really cover a lot of supplementation because you know the world I live in is I don't believe in a lot of supplementation and uh, just so we have an understanding when all this stuff first started uh, millennials ago like with the ancient Greeks and the Romans and those type of cats they didn't do a lot of supplementation. You know, maybe they did some herbs and spices and roots or something. But they eat good, clean food. And they just worked hard. They just put in the work ethic. You know, it's a lot to be said for hard work. When you put in the work and you're eating good, clean nutrition, it will uptake into the muscle. And you become what you eat. So if you eat a lot of chicken or fish or beef, you know, you um, you acquire the uh, particular, um, you know, the characteristics of what you're eating. And so um, I might be mistaken, but I'm thinking, uh, I'm not sure if Louis Marco is... Um, He's just a natural guy who eats really, really clean, you know. And um, I'm not sure if he does a lot of creatine and stuff like that. I haven't really followed him that closely, but I just noticed his name is one of the 
big names in the fitness channels, like you look at the people who have the most subscribers, he's up there. And, you know, I think it's a combination of his accent, and he puts a lot of clips out, and he's got a lot of commentary on the daily, baby, baby, please, you know. And he, like I said, he comments on the natty or not. Me, personally, I don't care if you're natural or not, you know, like, it's been my experience. Just playing sports and fighting and working out. When you get to a certain level in any sport where there's money involved, you're going to have people that juiced up on something. And I'm not trying to call out Lance Armstrong, you know, or, or the lady Joyce, the track runner, you know, or the Ben dude that ran track, you know, or Barry Bonds, you know. Or uh, Jose Canseco, or any of the wrestlers in the WWE, or even movie stars, man. You know, even college athletes. You know. So why would a person think that somebody that's in competitive bodybuilding is not going to use sports enhancing drugs? I mean, it all comes down to a drug culture. So let me. Let me point this out to you. Calls comes down to perception. So, <clears throat> you have some people who smoke cigarettes, you know, and drink coffee. And that's their drug of choice because nicotine is a drug, so is caffeine. But there are some people that say, oh, you know, I drink coffee, but I don't smoke cigarettes. And there are some people that say, oh, you know, I drink alcohol and I smoke cigarettes, but I don't smoke weed. And you got some people say, oh, you know, weed's bad for you. You know, I just drink. Then there's some people that just do, you know, hardcore drugs. Like, oh, you know, I might smoke weed, but I don't smoke cigarettes. So it all comes down to your interpretation of what's natural and clean. And the reason I bring that up, folks, is when I was in the military, we trained hard and everything. Yeah, we did protein and, you know, Supplements, we didn't get into all that old, like you know, crazy stuff, man, like creatine and, and amino acids and liver pills and desiccated liver and all that. You know, we just trained for combat to be fit in combat because the military's um, <clears throat> perception is if you can't run and climb and jump with your weight, then. You're not fit, so you don't want to take a lot of supplements that's going to just blow you up. You know, blow your muscles up big, but they're not functional. You see what I'm saying? Like, you can't climb a rope. You can't go over a hill. You can't go under barbed wire. You can't carry a rucksack, you know. Carry a rifle. Carry rounds and ammunition. Run. For long distances, man. Run into battle. So taking this, let's take it outside of the military for those of you who are patriotic or true warriors that want to go into combat, you know, and test your mettle, right? Let's just take it on the gym level. We used to train in the gym. Most guys that train in the gym are doing some kind of supplementation, whether they're doing whey protein or egg protein, milk protein, um, like I said, the, the castate liver. Uh, amino acids, whether it's branch chain aminos, some people take glutamine, they take a creatine nitric oxide. You know, the list goes on and on and on. There's some supplements I can't even pronounce. Oh, we're not going to even cover the pre workout. And this is all fat and hype. And I'm going to give you an example. So, <clears throat> when I was, uh, I was in the military and I started like winning championships. Uh, for the military and I was put on what's called special duty where all I did was compete for the military and as long as I was winning I was like um, not necessarily recruited but I go around and speak to high schools and stuff I'm like yeah military is a great way of life get to travel you know look at me I'm a champion right but then doing so I started competing and I started winning like on a national level state level so then I'm starting to hang out with guys that are civilians and I'm just training in civilian gyms at different places I've been stationed. And when you're in these gyms, man, you know, the guys carrying their gym bags, they're full of 
um, bottles of pills and powders and tablets and all kind of stuff. Man. I even knew guys who were injecting like B12 and B15. But no, they wouldn't touch steroids, but no, they, they injected this stuff, you know. So it was all this, you know, whether we, we call them clean or unclean. And there's a fine line. Because in my opinion, you know, this is me. As a warrior, like I gotta be out in the jungle, I gotta be out in the forest, in the field. I ain't got no supplements, man. I ain't got none of that. All I got is me. You know, I can carry some MREs, those are called meal ready to eat sea rations. Carry some of that dry food you add water and blows up. That's the nutrients I got. I ain't got time to be carrying uh, multi multivitamins, animal packs, all this stuff. So you learn to become very um, efficient on the food that you have. So to drive the point even closer to home, um, you know, there's guys in the gym taking all these supplements, but they, they, they draw a line of steroids, and then there's the guys that's taking steroids, they're taking all these different kinds of steroids, but then they'll draw a line of growth hormone. Then there's some guys that don't have any boundaries, and they're taking synthol and all this other stuff. But here's the moral to the story. When I uh, had the unfortunate incident, when a couple guys wanted to challenge my masculinity, they didn't realize I was a beast. I'm not just a man, I'm a beast. And um, there was a couple people that went on to the next phase in life. Because here we're on the physical plane, but then there's a spiritual plane. And I helped them to go there. So I was on, I went on a vacation because I had to learn how to control the animal within. So we call it the belly of the beast. You know, prison, the university of life, like level four maximum security. And they had a phrase in there, they call it, and they asked Kali Musa about it. They call it man in a can. So like, you know, if you're from a particular area, and you have people that you know from the streets or, or from that area, and they gravitate towards you, and you know, you come out of your cell, or they catch you in your cell with some protein powder, if they let it in. That's if the guards let it in. Sometimes they don't let it in, and you catch you drinking it. And you a little bitch boy. Say, man, you drinking man in the can? A little bitch boy, homosexual, faggot boy? What the fuck, man? We don't roll like that up in here, man. This is all natural, you know, beast mode. So the question I got for you guys out here, Louis Marco included, is, you know, if supplementation is so great, then why is it that the guys that are in prison, they get big and strong and swollen and fit, and they're not even taking any supplements. Trust me, and the food in there is poor quality, and it's not even good food. It's like steak food. It's a lot of fucking starches and shit, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta ask yourself that question, and I'm gonna tell you what that's what I know it is, not what I think it is. It's the will to get big. They have a will to get strong and fit, so that when they unlock themselves, you know what the fuck's gonna go on. You know what the fuck. You, so when they unlock the cell, you're no longer in the safe confines of your cell where you can be a cell soldier. You can grab the bars and be talking. Shit. Yeah, motherfucker, I'll rip your head off, motherfucker, and all that. You know. Because when those cells open up, it's on and cracking, man. It ain't a bunch of shit talking, man. It's on and cracking, you know. So when you exercise and all you have is poor quality nutrition food, you maximize the work that you put in. So when you do take in the poor quality food, then all the nutrients that are in there, you get them sucked into your body. So all I'm saying to uh, Louis Marcos is... Um, He's a very good, like, uh, sports commentator. He's got some great dialogue, you know what I'm saying? And he's very entertaining. But the whole thing is, like, I don't really understand what a dude stands on, like, his beliefs and working out. And, and is he actually edu educating people, or is he just, like, he just talks a lot, and that's what his job is. He's to commentate on athletes and things. Um... So with that being said, you know, if that's what your job is, Louis Marco, good job. But as far as your physique, man, um, I can help you with that. 
because you want your, your little rip little rip dude and everything I know in your mind you'd like to see at least like a little 10 to 15 more pounds of quality muscle on your physique you'd be so happy but what you're currently doing is not taking you there so step outside the box subscribe to my channel send me a private email OG silverback 971 at gmail.com I'll hook you up man in the meantime you know keep on commentating because you're doing a great service to the bodybuilding uh, fitness industry and uh, we really appreciate what you're doing